Hi, this is a video on setting up a game controller on a Windows 7 computer. Now Windows 7 isn't too different than uh, Windows XP. A lot of the options are going to be the same. But uh, just in case you've never set it up on XP before, we're just going to go over everything on Windows 7. So the first thing we're going to look at is if you go to the Start menu here on the bottom left hand corner and go to Control Panel, you're going to see it gives you all sorts of different options. If you want to find the game control options, probably the quickest way is to go up to search control panel on the upper right hand corner and type in game. Now when you do that, you're going to see devices and printers are going to come up and right underneath that set up USB game controllers. Now you click that and another window comes up. It looks very similar to the one that comes up on the XP computer. Um, this lets you configure controllers that have already been installed and um, allows you to configure them so that they work correctly. Let's say uh, certain buttons aren't working right or every time you push right uh, you go left. This is where you're going to fix all those things. But as you can see there's nothing installed yet. So what we're going to do now is, now that you know where to go to find that, we're just going to set this aside and close this and we're going to plug in a USB game controller. Now when we do that the computer is going to automatically uh, notice that something came up and you're going to see down here it's that it's installing. Let's click and take a look at what it's doing. Now it says it's searching Windows Update. The particular one I put in um, is called an Interact Gaming Device. It's an inter, uh, by a company called Interact. Um, it's a USB game controller. Yours is going to probably say something different. But uh, automatically, if your settings are set uh, correctly, it's going to search for Windows Update. Now if you don't have a disk for your USB controller, and a lot of times people don't, um, it'll just automatically search over there for it. Now you can see that it's installing it and now it's ready to use. So it really wasn't a, a big deal. You just plug it in, it installs it for you if you let it uh, look on Windows Update because um, these days a uh, USB controller is going to have a lot of uh, generic drivers or drivers that aren't too hard to find so you're going to be able to find them on Windows uh, Update. So I can go ahead and close that and you might notice that on my game controllers I have now an interact gaming device on the controllers. Status is OK meaning that it's communicating with it but that doesn't mean that everything's configured correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, properties and we're going to test this thing. It gives us uh, an opportunity to test our controller so I'm going to move the joystick around and it seems to be working good and I'm going to test the buttons and you'll see them light up as you press them. Okay, looks like everything works. Now, let's assume that when you opened up this window, the cursor was all the way to the right and you weren't pushing anything. Well, in this case, then you would want to calibrate the controller. And to do that, you would go to settings over here and you would hit calibrate. Now calibrate what it's going to do is set everything like your joystick there's a point that's called zero where it's in the middle it's not uh, being pushed to the left right up or down and uh, it recognizes its resting spot where nothing is being um, pressed. So we want to calibrate that so uh, we're going to hit calibration hit next and read what it says and do accordingly. Leave the handle centered and press a button on the controller. I'll go ahead and do that. And now it says move the handle in complete circles. So I'm going to do that. That way it knows what are its limits as far as the X and Y axis. And I'm going to put the handle in complete circles. You can see that it's noticing I'm doing that. And when I let go, it should go to the middle. There, it's in the middle. Now I'm going to hit next or press a button on the controller, probably a better idea to do that so you can test the buttons. And then verify center point, leave the handle centered, and then press a button on the controller. 
do that. Calibration complete. To save your calibration, click Finish. So finish. Now I hit Apply, OK, and we're done. So now your gaming device is ready to play on any game that you have installed. And we'll be making more videos on how to install or use or calibrate your gaming device on different games. Um, they're pretty similar um, how to calibrate and set buttons and that sort of thing. And uh, we'll be going over a few of those things in the next videos. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks a lot.